Welcome, guys. Hey, it's a safe place. So let me just tell you that you can't, you just can't go out to that free the nipple rally by yourself with a camera and not look creepy. You want us to believe that you just came out of your basement just to support the cause? I'm not saying that you can't be a male and support a facet of equal rights. I'm saying that you, man with a camera who came by yourself, aren't a male that supports equal rights. You're like a lion supporting the Free the Gazelles movement. Sure, you want it to happen, but something tells me that you have ulterior motives. Actually, I'm kind of happy for you. This was your jackpot peeping Tom situation. It's like you crept up to a house, peeked around the bushes, and found out that the walls had fallen down unbeknownst to the bathing residents. But really, did you think about the fact that the news was covering it? I saw your picture in the paper. And you look creepier than an old doll in my grandparents' attic that I stumbled upon while playing hide and seek with my cousin Fat Chucky, creating an image that visits me every night before I fall asleep. But how disappointing was it when you arrived? All the nipples were taped over. That's like turning on Maury when they're not doing a paternity test. Maury, next time I see you, you better have a manila envelope in your hand. Here's the thing, nipples aren't that hard to find. In fact, you, creepy guy, right now, lift up your homemade Catherine Zeta-Jones t-shirt. Now look down, cha-ching, you have two nipples of your own, hey oh! That's kind of the point. Now go home, say hi to your parents, walk down to the basement, then lift up your shirt in front of the mirror. Surprise, it's four nipples! Take out your phone and record it. It's your own free the nipple rally. That is socially acceptable for you to attend.